Tory Lanez has officially been found guilty of shooting Megan the Stallion. The verdict came back guilty on all three charges, assault with a semi-automatic firearm, illegal possession, and negligent discharge of a firearm. Lanes, whose legal name is Daystar Peterson, is facing up to 22 years and 8 months in prison for his sentencing set for January 27th. He's also facing subsequent deportation since he's a citizen of Canada. Now this case has been turned into a complete and utter spectacle. Hip-hop media almost immediately turned on Megan Thee Stallion, with many figureheads, commentators, and well-established celebrities aligning and fully backing Tory Lanez. Even a lot of hip-hop channels on YouTube aligned and backed Tory Lanez. There was so much misinformation and misleading headlines spread about this, and the way people rallied behind Tory Lanez as if this guy was some freedom fighter or has actually done something noteworthy is absolutely insane to me. Not that him being noteworthy would make his actions more acceptable, but you could at least understand the rabid Lanez worship to some degree if that was the case. Tory Lanez has always been a mid-artist who blatantly rips off his much more accomplished peers. He sucks and he's always been an arrogant asshole. Not to mention, his story changed various times. He didn't address the shooting for months on end, then he went on record saying that Megan was never shot, then he and his team tried to point in the direction of Megan's former friend, Kelsey Nicole, of being the one to pull the trigger, even though she blatantly denied it, and he made an entire album trying to paint a narrative. And one of the narratives I seen peddled the most on social media is that this was some twisted love triangle where Megan was sleeping with her best friend's man behind her back. This narrative doesn't hold up for one single reason, and that is this picture. This picture was a viral moment, was very public, Megan and Kelsey were still very close friends during that time, and Megan and Tori were very flirtatious in a public setting. They went to parties together, they hung out together. So the whole idea that this Megan and Tori situation, maybe them being interlinked, was some type of undercover type of thing, is ridiculous. The way Tori moved about this situation in my eyes is not of someone who's trying to prove their innocence, but someone who is simply trying to get everyone to hate Megan Thee Stallion. I can't speak for everyone else, but I for one have always believed that Megan is a victim and Tory Lanez is the one to pull the trigger. At some point in the media, it felt like it became less about who shot who and instead Megan's sex history, which to me just read as blatantly misogynistic. And there were so many people who dogpiled on her, which I just genuinely do not understand. Tory is a fucking Z-lister. It's not like he can help anyone's career. He's not valuable as an artist. He literally holds no weight. So the ample amount of support that Tory received just seemed rooted in misogyny or pure hatred of Meg or women like her. And I'm not talking about people who may have had skepticism and chose not to take sides. That's anyone's right. And yes, it is also anyone's right to take Megan or Tory's side. But there are a lot of people who just wrote off the idea of Tory being able to shoot Megan or the idea that he actually did and took very clear misogynistic stances. Or some people were playing it safe, trying to act like they were neutral, but really they were just defending Tory. Also, abuse is not something out of Tory Lanez's nature. The man literally has an extremely long history of accusations of abuse, actual cases that he had to settle because he abused someone, countless feuds, and even a recent run-in with August Alsina a few months ago, where Tory and his team allegedly beat him up simply for not shaking his hand. The short doofus known as Tory Lanez has a very clear ego problem and always has. He's uber cocky without the credentials. And it also doesn't help that uber famous people like Drake, who likes to play this good boy ladies lover man, was throwing subs at Megan for seemingly no reason. It was super corny. And then also men like DaBaby who aligned with Tory Lanez almost instantaneously after he got into a disagreement with Megan. When him and Megan sort of came up together in the industry, and him and Megan had actually made hits together, yet he threw that all the way to a line with a Z-lister. Which to be fair, the baby seems headed for that territory anyway. So I guess it's fitting in the end. Then you also have other people in the industry come out like Iggy Azalea, who was allegedly dating Tory Lanez and was looking to him to produce her album. And then some people came out and was like, I had a great experience with Tory, so I know he wouldn't do this. And I just hate when people take that stance in any circumstance. Just because someone acted a certain way towards you, doesn't mean they act that way with everyone else. It's just beyond dumb logic. Tory Lanez and his family are now peddling more conspiracy theory nonsense, 
and now blaming Jay-Z and Rock Nation. Sir, your son pulled a trigger and has a very long history of abuse accusations. I just find the whole conspiracy route extremely pathetic. Tory Lanez is a fucking nobody in the industry. He's not a household name. He doesn't even have a platinum album to his name. And he's been out for like a decade. And I want to make it clear, there's nothing wrong with that if you don't want to be a mainstream star. However, Tory has an extremely inflated sense of self and has ripped off everyone and their mama to try to gain and keep mainstream attention. But he just ain't got it. This idea that Tory Lanez is some, you know, big, powerful figure behind the scenes that everyone is after and, you know, he has so much value is just fucking ridiculous. Like, it is literally insane because Tory Lanez has never been that guy. This Megan incident is the most attention he's gotten and the only reason truly that he got an influx of supporters. Tory Lames is a loser. And I'm just glad Megan got her justice, even in the face of the media turning on her.